Now for the last of Roxy's route, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to get ready for Dirk's route next or whatever gameplay videos I may end up having uploaded. See you in the video. Did she look like this? She hands you a book, cover open to show you the author photo. There she is. Younger than she was when you saw her last night, but older than she was when you first met. If you can't help but say her out loud, Rose. Oh, and she... Why did grown-up her say you've never met before, though? Is she not the same person? Fuck, the earlier math you were doing. Fuck the earlier math you were doing. This is way bigger than 2 plus 2. This is some serious mental calculus. You wiggle all your brainworms at once, and then it hits you. The way it felt so different than normal, when you hopped from Jake's house to wherever that one place was. How it happened when you brought Jake home again, too. Like your guts dissolved sideways, how they rearranged slower once you landed. Had it happened when you first landed in Jane's yard, too? You were probably too turned around to even notice then. You know Roxy's super hyped right now, but you tell her you gotta check something, do some science, you'll be right back. Use that backwards again. What did I tell you about coming back here? Get your grubby time fingers out of my pie before you get caught. Yes, ma'am, sorry. Yes, ma'am, sorry, ma'am. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, she's mad, which you expected. It also feels like an everyday wiggle belly time jump, which you also expected. You pop out of there, this time concentrating on your friend Rose. There's a day after you last hung out. You should feel yourself so zoom further back with Schwarzer, right? Off you go. And... Wrong. It's that feeling again. That sideways dissolvement and reconstruction of your crudely rendered bowels. Oh, it's you. Long time no see. For you, I assume. Funny thing about that is no, actually, but you'll have to explain later. You apologize for paying her short at so short a visit and head back to Roxy. The feeling accompanies you yet again. Sorry. Bye. You pop back in Roxy's living room. The fraction of a second after you left, those brain rooms were wriggling at top speeds. Damn, B, I didn't know you knew this about me, but I love science projects. I got a whole lab and everything. I'm hexa qualified. Want to take me with you? Oh, sorry, you already went. Fuck, there I go, blinking and missing all the good shit. For the best, to be honest, or else I have sat here worrying, worrying, worrying that you never come back. Abandonment crises, totes averted for the moment. High five. What right science fact did you learn? Was about my mom? You take a deep breath. You're kind of laying down the knowledge track the second before your brain cart rolls down them. So you're hoping this makes sense as you place it together word by word. You think this is a different universe? You, yo, what? You also met the woman Roxy thinks of as mom, but you also have a friend named Rose from a while ago. She's friends with Jake's grandma and Jane's grandpa, and you're pretty sure she even read you some of this same fucking book at one point. But they can't have been the same exact people. Even if they all look the same, things feel different there than they do here. Like looking in an inside-out mirror with every cell of your body. Those definitely exist, don't worry. Hells to the yeah. I'm following you. Would love to gaze inside one of those mirrors and flip my shit some way. <laughs> Would be a liar if I said I never had thought about that as a general concept. That's not the point. More importantly, what you're saying is I have double the moms I thought I had all yesterday. And you're also saying you can, like, go visit any and all moms that- <laughs> I can visit all the hot mamas I want! <laughs> just go on a mom visiting bender, you bet your ass! No rules, just moms? <laughs> and I can come along? Well, no. There are a couple rules, but other than that, yeah. Damn, you thought she might take- she might take more convincing. Look around all my gear and cat clones and general living situation, bud. All I'm saying is none of that is particularly hard to believe. And after all the grief I endured trying to get Janie to believe me, I'd be pretty fucking stupid not to mention rude as heck of me not to believe you now. You're my friend. Phew, that's a relief. Your grasp on this shit is tenuous at best, so it's good that she's so easy to win over. It is one of my best qualities. Or at least one of my biggest ones. Oh, though she gets too excited one of the... So she gets too excited. One of the rules does seem to be that her mom in this universe doesn't want to be visited, though. That's kind of a big one. Oh, uh, I see. Well, did you say why? I mean, if y'all already hung out, what's so bad about one more chill sesh? Unless, I don't know, it's okay for you, but... You can hear her start to blame herself, so you cut her off. It's definitely not that she didn't seem interested. More like she couldn't. She shooed you away every time you tried to say hi. Like she was afraid you'd fuck shit up, which to be fair, you do regularly. But she said she was preparing for something. You look around. Or someone. Ah, yeah, okay. Makes sense. It's funny, actually. No, I'm JK. I'm, I'm, I'm JK in your leg. It sucks. But, like, situationally, it's funny. Because that game I mentioned that Janie's off destroying, a week ago I wasn't even sure I wanted to play. 
I was P ready to go to desperate measures not to play it at all, if I'm being totes honest. When Jane said she met you in, it was all hell bent on doing some righteous smiting to the whole company, I don't know. They hit me like that, I kinda did want to play after all. Like I thought maybe I'd meet my mom in the game and I finally get to talk to this lady I built my whole ass sense of self around. Get to see how she is in real actual life and figure out how bad I fucked it up in my version of it. Well, anyway, we aren't playing so it didn't matter. I've been trying to be a good friend and let my hacks or skills to Janie's cause, but it hurts to hurts I didn't know how to tell her. Then, and then you showed up and my option shifted like 75% more times. 75 more times. I barely got time to come to terms with it being okay to want something before it gets swiped away from me, lol. Shit, you really didn't mean to mess with her expectations. You should have kept your mouth shut till you figured out what this all meant. She smiles at you. You don't have to know her for long to tell her that it's forced. Ah, shit. You can fix this. Let's fix this! Okay, what do we do, though? It's been 20 minutes right now as well. I don't know if we continue on or not. Alright, so, either one more visit to the universe is Rose couldn't hurt, or Mom's cool, but so are friends. You know what? She said... I, she, she she's very very th th that rose that adult rose hot i'll say it i'll keep saying it because it's still gonna be true holy shit but at the same time she told you fuck off and uh, i i i gotta i gotta abide by her words or else she'll send me back in time to the fucking middle ages hey mom's cool <laughs> but so are friends it's not just moms, you tell her. You can definitely take her to go see any of the f one of the friends she already has, too. What, like, right now? If she wants, yeah, you're down for whatever. Ah, uh, it'd be weird. It is it weird to be so nervous about that? Don't get me wrong, I want to see the fuck out of some friends. Plop my eyes right on those guys, followed, of course, by hogs. Hugs? <laughs> hey, yo. It's just a really big thing, and I'm feeling a little dizzy even thinking about picking one. Yeah, you haven't met all her friends yet, but you just know just enough about all of her various dynamics for that to make sense. And hey, there's no need to rush. You could take her somewhere else, just the two of you. That way she can still get out of the house and see something new. And you guys can sit and talk through who you'd rather go see and leap in, right? Yeah, okay. Sounds chill. We're gonna go cause my taxi friend. Let's start somewhere chill, you say. And she nods. Like many things about Earth, there are places you know exist, but you have no memory of ever being having been to. They're just part of your cultural knowledge, learned by your past self, later subsumed into the ever-widening miasma of your mind. You pick one of those places, somewhere that feels like, at one point, it could have been something you cared about. Zap. It looks like a forest at first, but the pine trees have been sh shaped by wind. You turn and the earth is in front of you and your butt's up against the ancient stone of an outcropping. It stretches out below your feet in a long, striated arch until it curves into nothingness. Beyond it is an endless sea of mountains, rolling and rolling, fading deep green and blue as they turn into sky. The sun is just below the horizon. Oh, it's so... Open. Her voice is the quietest it's been since you met her. Her bright, boisterous charm lulled into all. You ask her if she thinks this will work. Are you shitting me? Buster, I've never seen a more gorgeous thing in my entire existence. We are going to take a fucking seat and soak in this nature with every one of our pores. The visible ones, I mean. Don't go get any ideas, Wink. Or, dude, to be honest, you could be doing naked cartwheels right now and I wouldn't even notice because, as I said previously, my eyes are slurped in these sites. In these sites. Fair. You're not agile enough for that, clothed or otherwise, but you're glad she likes it here. The two of you sit for a while, soaking it in. This is a schedule-free life you lead, so however long it takes for her to talk, it's fine with you. It doesn't take too long, though. So, you met Jane. Jake, too, if I'm not wrong. They talked about you some, but they've been more busy hanging out with you than talking about you, if I'm, to be, if I'm being honest. How about, um, Strider? He hasn't said anything about you, and I like to think he'd tell me if he got the one first visitor of his whole life, but maybe he wouldn't be ready to share with me. It's a pee big thing for me and him, me and for him to be even bigger. She seems poised to continue hypothesizing about him for a while, so you go ahead and tell her that no, you haven't met him, but you sure have heard a lot about him from Jake. Ah, oh, well, yeah. What? You, what? Would you like to get a different version of things from her? Lamau. How far in this drama you want to get? You're already pretty far entrenched, as far as you can tell, so she may as well fill you in on the rest. Okay, so, I'm about to lay it all out there for you. Because I trust you, and also I don't know what to do about all about it all, and need some farm fresh opinions, might just be what I need. Alright, either the game's gonna smash cut, just to, to like, alright, anyway, I told you. 
I hope you do good with that information, or I'm gonna have to speak with all this. Let me, let me get like mentally and physically ready. I'm gonna pause again. All right, all right, I think I'm ready. <sighs> the way she turns to and clutches her hands together, launching directly into the story. You never think she was new to slumber party gossip. We got quite the love quadrangle going down in this friend group. Janie and Dirk are both into Jake, which like, fair. He's the sweet and a hunk no matter how you slice it. Jake, as you may know, is a wild card here. No idea who he might go for, which is also fair. If I am to continue to be a referee here, because Jane is a stone cold fox, illustrious babe going to heck of places, and Dirk is, whew, he's just, he's just about perfect. So, she trails off and wrinkles up her nose as she looks back over the mountains. Her gaze is heavy with longing. Hmm. Don't you hmm me? What? Just seems like she's leading up her her spot to the up to her spot in the quadrangle is all yeah well i'm in there like in the last one i mentioned ah okay why are you doing it again oh just for a minute you couldn't tell which direction she was heading you thought she might be jealous of dirk himself the way she looked at she looked when she said all that but it's that she's been has feelings for him you're just trying to keep up foxy laughs and covers her face god damn called out here on top of the fucking world you're not wrong i guess in a way not to continue the vicious call out, but earlier it was her mom and she said she tried to be like, now it's Dirk. You fig you're like the president of the universe. You're like the president of the universe at trying to figure out who who you are, trying out different ways of being to see what fits. So no judgment there. It's just that it seems like she has a lot of questions about who she wants to be, which is legit as hell. That's life, baby. Yeah, I guess that's the whole thing, you know? I wanted to be like her because she's my family and like the only person I knew about for so long. Then I met him, and I was like, oof, there's more unlockable options? Who knew? Maybe I could've... I don't know, I do have feelings for him to be sure, but you right. Sometimes with him, it does get all mixed up. You ever not sure if you want to be somebody or be with somebody? I mean, I like the me I made from nothing, and I don't want every single piece of his bullshit, of course, but... He's like this shadow, just out of my range of vision. Like, some kind of what if. Me and... Me if I had just been... Uh, I don't know. This makes any fucking sense inside my own head, though. What's that you said about the Turnaways mirror? Let's hop on that universe jumping train and see where it takes us. Metaphorically, I mean. I'm not ready to move a single ass cheek off this bitchin' rock yet. It's all metaphorical anyway. Well, not the multiple universes thing, that's pretty much a fact. As far as you can tell. But the turning yourself inside out bit, whatever it is about him that she feels putting at her, pulling at her, this thing she wants for herself, it's probably bigger than him anyway. He's just the person who made her notice it, same as it was with her mom. And anyway, it turns out lots of options are unlockable once you realize some locks were in your brain to begin with. Damn, buddy. Is that what it's always like to talk to friends face to face? Hauling up piles of deep, meaningful truths left and right? Or is this just a you thing? You have absolutely no way of knowing, but you do know it happens to you a lot. It's different every time, though, and it never gets old. Good, because I feel like this got up one layer of all my thoughts and feelings about this stuff. And I'm a little afraid to dig deeper, but if you're there with me, maybe we'll find some shit in there and just not and not just big empty question marks. Shit, yeah. You can go for round two whenever. Your game trying to keep digging at identity all day if she wants. Though they did come up here to decide who to visit, right? So this being two oasis Dirk? God, I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe. Eventually. I want to see all of three of them, plus another friend I haven't mentioned yet. But you'd get along with her because she's also an alien. But I might want to start with my kid, Ma, who is visible. Visitable? Not yet, though. No, I never would have thought I'd be putting this off any longer than I had to, but meeting you has been one of the best things I ever did. I want to sit and stew in this friend soup with you for a bit longer. And then I can savor the bites of my other friend soups when I can. However ready to eat or not I might be. Shit, this metaphor's getting away from me. Can you take over? You're not sure how savageable it is, but yeah, you're down to simmer with her as long as she wants. And you think she and her team mom will get along very well. Shared mom trauma and drama included, whatever it comes time to introduce them. She shouldn't worry about being perfectly ready either. You haven't skipped ahead to see who she becomes, but you're pretty confident she has it in her to be someone she can be proud of and comfortable being. Someone that can look back on this Roxy with kindness too, no matter what choices she ends up making. You're gonna make me cry again, please no. Also, not that I'm gonna forget today Evar, but I should document. 
She pulls out her, her phone out and holds up to the frame her shot. She is glowing with the light of the sunrise. You watch her. You watch the sun. You watch the fog curl through the valleys below. Okay, now a selfie. She drapes her arm over your shoulder and points the camera at the both of you. Work it. Oh yeah, that one's cute as fuck. She messes with her phone, opening a chat with someone whose handle you don't recognize. To wonder as she sends full of their way if it's an alien friend. Maybe cool if Roxy was friends with a troll you hadn't met yet. Hey, you there? I guess not, but it's okay. I just wanted to say hi. I know we didn't talk much about much about the day. No, we didn't talk much about the games not being on anymore. But it's the last time we got to chatting. But I know we we're both feeling it. I have so many more updates from back online, so get hype and check out this choice ass view and me peeping right now. It's pretty. You think of you. It's time to get comfy on this rock. You may end up being here for a while, since rocks is not quite ready to get zapped anywhere else. Which, when you consider it, it's fine. There's a difference, you think, between inaction and patience. There are small, weighty changes made in stillness. You, worried, you choose to move too much, and Roxy, afraid she was robbed of choice from the start, meet in the middle. She pockets the phone and grins at you. You lean back on your elbows and tilt your head up towards the sky. Hell yeah. Now that's what you love to see. We just chillin'. That was actually amazing. I was sitting here dreading Roxy's route. Honestly, that one might just be one of the better routes in this entire one. I just think that was really, really cool and really, that was, that was, that was nice. That was really nice. Oh, that was, that was really, really nice. I got not, I, got, I don't got much else to say because you know, hey, formulate your own opinions because at the moment my voice is shot. I'm just barely keeping it together. Uh, anyways, I better do the outro. If you liked the video, like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified of anything that ends up happening, whether it be memes, me playing, or me playing other games, or hey, we're nearing the end, so Friend Sim 2 is coming up, more than likely. I have a feeling of playing some Dragon's Dogma, one of my favorite games of all time. So, look forward to that as well. I will be doing it. That's something I'm gonna, you can bet on, eventually. And hey, have yourselves a good day, night, twilight, whatever it is. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Peace out.